special Two o'clock is the time To set your receiver To the big 89 And say hello to the steamer Hello, 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 hello It's the Steve Dawn Show Today, Steve Dahl Show, Steve Dahl, Doug Julin. Hello. Brandon Greeley. Hey there. There's a bunch of TV cameras in here. I feel like I've just been caught having sex with a porn star or something. Mm-hmm. Our top story, Steve I've been Dahl. indicted for something. Do you have a comment, Steve? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No. I'm, I'm, okay. I'm going to take the fifth. Okay. Uh, actually, uh, this is very cool. We are currently, as far as I know... Currently on WLS AM 890, mm-hmm. where we normally do our show every afternoon from 2 to 6, and on the Loop 97.9 FM. Simulcasting. So I like to call it a simulblast. Right. But it is a simulcast, uh-huh. in fact. And we're going to we're gonna be the last live show on the Loop ever. How cool is that? It's historic. Well, yeah, I, yeah, I... Yeah. It's cool. It's not <laughs> supposed to be cool, man. Yeah, it's supposed, oh, right. to be, it's supposed to be a station. bummer. Yeah. How yeah. cool is yeah. that, right? I turned oh, yeah. that sucker off because I don't listen right. to that crap. Yeah. That's not... Uh, no. Did you miss the meeting? <laughs> the, the, no. the humble, contrite... Uh, the reverence. Wake, we're going to do kind of like a wake, bagpipes right, kind of... Did you miss that meeting? History. Uh, how yeah. cool is that, right? Let's turn that sucker wow. off at six. The loop is staying on until Saturday night at... Um, midnight, mm-hmm. which is you know Sunday morning, mm-hmm. and then Jesus takes the wheel. That's but right. But then Jesus gets ripped off almost immediately. Almost immediately, because two to three doesn't exist. No, no, it's gone. But ultimately, you know, he he wins out because it's his station. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, he'll have time to make that hour up, I'm sure. And good luck to him, because this is a tough business. Yeah. <laughs> and I know he's a turn the other cheek kind of guy. I get that. Right. But uh, you gotta have you gotta have more than two cheeks in this business, right? It's tough. It's tough. Now we have interviews with uh, with a, a lot of a lot of uh, former uh, loop people mm-hmm. today. Some good ones too. You got a nice mm-hmm. roster lined up. Yeah, here. Kevin. I, I'm just looking at the roster right now. Let me go through it for you. Okay. Kevin Matthews is coming up next. Joe Walsh is calling in because he used to fill in for uh, Stephen Gary all the time. He used to come in with Rick, the bass player, and they'd do a a week of uh, mind blowing shows. <laughs> mind mind blowing <laughs> shows, yes, yeah. And uh, Sky Daniels, right on, calling in. Mitch Michaels doing the cruise on what is a Friday. Yeah. Gonna try him to. Uh, we're gonna try. I I've tr- I think I tried this before with him, and he won't. He doesn't do it as much as I would like. But you know how he used to do that Friday thing. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. It's fr- oh yeah. It's Friday. Yeah, he doesn't get as as jive into into the jive as yeah. much as you'd he like. He acts like it wasn't jive. Right. But it was jive. But it's cool jive. Yeah. But you know, maybe he'll dial it up one does, more time. He's doing like the you know the acoustic version of it. Yeah. I mean, right, the yeah. rock and roll version yeah. of it. I bet he's got one in him. Okay. Stan Lawrence coming up. Nice. Jonathan Brandmeyer. What? And Brandy? Buzz Kilm- and Buzz Kilman. Brandy and the Buzz Man. Fabulous. Nice. Together again. Very All right. cool. Thanks for thanks to Johnny for uh for, for, for calling back. Yeah. Uh Danny uh Danny Bonaducci, or as I like to say, born a douchebag. Really? Interesting. <laughs> but to his face. Sure. And he'll lie. He'll you know he, he doesn't care. He he's likes Danny Bonaducci. He, he doesn't laugh. care. Yeah. He was in the Partridge family. He doesn't care. <laughs> uh, what else we got? We got uh, Patty Hayes. Yeah. There were women on the loop, too. Mm-hmm. Patty Hayes. And stuff like that. Maybe Larry Wirt. I'm trying to get Larry Wirt. I did reach out to Gary Meyer because I'm fine with him. Everybody asks me that. Like, you mm-hmm. know, what's the deal with you guys? And I'm good. Right. And I even, I, I own why, you know, he hated me. Mm-hmm. But I've changed my ways. Yeah. 22, almost 23 years clean and sober. So. But you had a brief reunion a few years ago and made some appearances together. Yeah, and- yeah. But uh, we, we got uh, into the, voted into the uh, Radio Hall of Fame. 
I yeah. said, let's you know go up and do that together and he he wouldn't yeah. he wouldn't do it so so I did uh, reach out to him and uh, I I guess I read uh, in Robert Feeder on Robert Feeder's blog that he's doing a show on WGN where he just got screwed royally by management by the suits yeah, yeah. screwed yeah. royally and it's on a show that's on like at, from two a.m. to five a.m. yeah on Sunday mm-hmm. so but really it's gonna it just be you know three to Right. Five. Losing that hour. Losing the hour. I hope that's not the hour he's scheduled for. Oh, that would be a bummer. be bad planning. Yeah. So, and if you're listening, and I, if I were him, I wouldn't be listening. I mean, just based on, you know, I assume he's not. But yeah. if you are, man, you should call up. Let's, let's yeah. do this. Let's do it right. Uh, Chicagoland I'm, would love that. Yeah, yeah. So, um, you know. Yeah. But I did reach out to him, and... Uh, and through and through and not me, but through people that he likes, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and uh, they they had no luck either. So I got the number. I could always just call it. But. Sure, we'll see what we'll happens see. as the show progresses. Does he have an outgoing message? Because that'd make it more fun to hear that. Yeah, sure. If it's just a the you know the it just a standard computer the, yeah, the call the, the whatever yeah. they, whatever the computer says. I hang up. I don't yeah. I don't like to leave mm-hmm. messages because then the, you know it's a footprint. Right. Mm-hmm. It's already bad enough they've got your phone number in there mm-hmm. and your sexed messages. <laughs> All right. So a big show planned for today. Thank you for tuning in. The loop will get back to rocking. Oh, sure. At six. And we've got some tunes to play for you as well. Yep. If we if we have a chance to get to them. But uh, I think it's uh, it's important. You know, obviously the loop. A very important station in Chicago radio history. And uh, I think uh, since I'm in a position to let everybody on for one last time, I I feel like it's incumbent upon me to do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it'll stream on forever at WLUP.com. I know you you wanted to get that message out there, too, that uh, it'll be on. Well, I don't, you know what? I don't feel he's tracking with me today. (laughs) No? No. (laughs) No, I don't. We're all, we're always on the is same. Is it the page. cameras? Is it the cameras? No. no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It'll it will continue to stream at uh, WLUP. One, mm-hmm. Yeah. Dot, dot com. Dot mm-hmm. com and one hundred one point one HD two. HD two. If you have an HD HD radio in your car, you should listen to us. If you're listening to AM, you should listen on ninety four seven HD two. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Any what? other? Momentum killing things you want to uh, lay on me right time, now, but, uh, or can we uh, can we move <laughs> we can on move to the up. break and then talk to Kevin Matthews? Let's we'll talk to Connor with some sports. Jennifer's got some traffic. You're listening to the last uh, oh, live show yeah. on the loop ever. This is AM. the Steve Dahl Show. Forgot about this. Weekday afternoons on WLS AM eight ninety. The simulcast is sponsored by David Hochberg of Pearl Mortgage. Visit p e r l mortgage dot com. McDonald's is celebrating International Women's Day with a big gleaming W. Oh. The Steve Dahl Show. We don't have to turn our logo upside down. We've already got a built-in W. 40 years rocking the radio. And we love skirts. I think that's what it says. In Chicago. I'm wearing one right now. Okay. It's uh, Steve Dahl Show. Uh, last day on the loop. Just another Friday on WLSAM. Sure, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. I got to remember that we go to that thing yes, when I toast yeah. to commercial. Yep. Because yeah. we're, we're, uh, we have a lot more breaks on the AM. Yes, on the we loop, do. They just play some sweet rock. They just a couple put of a... commercials for waterbed stores. Right. It's all pretty groovy. Kevin Matthews is on the phone. Hey, Kevin Matthews. How are you, buddy? Hey, now, Stevie, Chicago. Sad day, sad moment. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. We spent a lot of time together on this station, right? On the loop. We, yes, we did, um, Steve. I was in hell in St. Louis at a radio station nobody listened to, and I was sending you and Gary tapes, and yep. you said, "Hey, hire this guy. Let's hire this kid. He's pretty funny." <laughs> and 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 you and it, look what happened. Yeah, it's turns awesome. out I was right. Yeah, you were right. I, uh, I, and you I, are funny. I can remember listening. I was the first day I was ever on the air in Chicago. I was coming up uh, Lakeshore Drive. There's the Hancock. You and Gary were on, and I'm suddenly I I got nervous. Yeah. And then I went up, and they put me in the production room, and I called you and Gary as Ronald Reagan. Oh right, right. Remember? And, yeah. Hello, boys. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I yeah. Do remember that. And the whole it was. Oh yes, I can remember that. I believe you said you had. Um, I, I don't. I don't. I have to be. I can't be super yeah, right on with what. But you had something uh, going on down there that yeah. was so substantial you could dock a boat to it. Yes, I, it was a new. I was taking Viagra. It was a new pill, and, right. and they actually docked an aircraft carrier from it. Yeah, 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 like a cleat on a dock. Right, yeah, it, yeah. and I and I think you hung up and you go, yeah, I think we'll take that. Carrier. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. You're a funny. You, you have uh, definitely uh, uh, proven me right. Well, you know, I was asking somebody. I'm just amazed that we're alive, physically alive. Yeah. Well, mm-hmm. yeah. Now, uh, yeah. That's uh, <laughs> that's a good point. It, it, um, it is somewhat ironic to me that I'm the guy here doing this. Yeah. Because I, you, I bet uh, it was less than even money that I wouldn't be at some point. There's a couple of times people say, well, you've gotten religious, and it's because when you and I, we were in San Diego once doing a live show. You've gotten religious. Well, you have too, Steve. Trust me. You, All right. You know. <laughs> but the bottom line is what I can remember one time we got off the air. We were doing a live broadcast on the loop, uh-huh. and you and I were so, we were seconds away from jumping in a cab and going to Tijuana. To a donkey show. And I, if we would have gone there, we would have never gotten out alive. No, we'd be dead. Yeah, we would. We'd be st- probably still working there oh, at please. the donkey show <laughs> as sex slaves. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, some unbelievable times. Yeah, unbelievable yeah. Times. Now you, uh, for people that don't know, it's okay if we we talk about. I, Kevin ha- has uh, MS, but he's uh, he, he's it's in, it's, in, it's under control, correct? Well, yeah, well, the people say, oh, you got the good MS. Like, oh, yeah, you got the good cancer. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Now, yeah, I, I mean, it's, it, it is what it is. Uh, there's, you just got to keep moving. Uh, you know, you just, uh, I do the best I can. I got yeah. a great people around me, good wife, family, friends like you, and a great doctor. And so it is what it is. Yeah, uh, got a good attitude, too. And uh, he, he's, Kevin's up in Grand Rapids. Mm-hmm. Yep. He does a podcast every week for uh, for, for uh, my podcast network. Yes, you, and, and today marks the 400th show. Really? Wow. How wow. Cool Congratulations, man. Yeah, and, you know, everybody, I, I know it's a sad day because the, it's so iconic, the, the loop and the culture and what we all grew up together. And, right. And, you, but when I got fired, you <laughs> picked up a phone and said, come on over and join my network, and I did. And it's, I love it because all the characters have grown. I yeah. Mean, I mean, it, yeah, you it, should hear, because it's a podcast. Yeah. <laughs> uncensored people, Jim People can Shorts. say whatever they want, and Jim yeah. Shorts, yeah. Uncensored, is, uh, yeah, it's really something. It is. Is so. Jimmy there by any chance? I'm right here, Steve. Hey, Jim, how are you, buddy? I'm good, and Kev is a cripple now. Uh, <laughs> he's just, he, 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 you know, he's, he's close to a wheelchair, and... <laughs> He'll die soon, and I'll take over, and just, it'll be the Jim Short show on the Doll Network, All which right. it should be. All right. Well, that's between you and Kevin. You know, you guys have a love-hate relationship. I understand yeah. that. I can switch the medication, and I, I, we can kill him <laughs> very easily, Steve. You just let me know. Just like in the movies. Yeah, just yeah. let me know. All right. I, w- I will. I I like Kevin. I, I'd, I'd like to keep him around as long as possible. Well, I like him, too, because I get good parking. I just take that blue thing, and I, and I get good parking. <laughs> Parking, I get good shows, you know, get good seats understood. at concerts. Understood, understood, understood. Yeah. Park right up, uh, right up front at the supermarket. Yeah, and you get up on stage too to some shows, you know. It's really kind of embarrassing to the artists, you know. They'll turn around <laughs> and go, "Oh my, look at that!" <laughs> Not motivating. Yeah, <laughs> understood, Jim. Yeah. All right, we'll put Kevin back on. You're starting I'm to here. scare me. I'm here. We've All got right. two mics. We've got two mics. Oh, okay. All right, good. Mike, mics are hot. Good. Mics are hot. Mics are hot. So, yeah. of all the things uh, that that uh, that Mexico trip to, or San Diego trip right. with uh, Steve, Gary, Kevin, and Johnny B, that was something. Uh-huh. <laughs> but uh, do you have another? What besides that? Do you have like another favorite loop memory? When you and I, we would be asked. Uh, the loop would always christen new Vegas hotels. Had to. And we, it, was a, it, was a, it was a federal law at that time. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. And you and I and Gary, uh, we were uh, in a limo going out to O'Hare to take a flight. Oh, yeah. And I made you wet your pants. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah. That is a that's a great moment. And that same flight as we are, you know, we're descending into Vegas, I asked the stewardess, I said, Hey, can I get one more beer? And she looked at me and she goes, You guys drank them all. <laughs> so <laughs> Yeah. We we I th- we didn't we did our show from the yeah. limo on the way out to the airport because yeah. you had yeah. to catch yeah. the right flight. We did. Yeah. Okay. There was so many of those things. Oh, they, they need bigger liquor carts on those, they, uh, uh, or they need it. God I believe Lord. that's what I said to her. You know, you need to get two liquor carts on flights like this. Oh, man, it was just... Didn't anybody was, notify you people at United? It was stuff like that. Uh, I saw, I posted on social media that I'd be talking to you, and it was a picture of little Trev, and my son, and your son, Matt. You know, it was, it was we grew up. They yeah, were in we, grade school together. Yeah, we were in grade school together. Now uh, they're grown men. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, we're grandfathers. Yeah, that's uh, that's really sad. Uh, <laughs> I, I mean, I, it's not. It, it's I cool. love them, but I can't believe that I'm. You know. Yeah. yeah. Well, we got married very young. Yeah. <laughs> we were. You know, we were jailbait. Right. Our, our wives. Yeah. Well, yeah. plucked us out of the cradle. You have how many grandkids? I got three. I've got uh, my daughter's got three. Uh, Trev's not married. He's married to his guitar, and he's he's a road rat. He's doing well. He's in a in a popular band, right? Yes, uh, called uh, they're called Dawes. Yeah, Dawes. I, I see him on TV all the time. Yep, and uh, yeah, they're out in L.A. They're doing taking a little break right now, but they'll jump back and uh, and hit the road here real soon. All right, all right. Hey, um, a couple. One, uh, Larry's on the phone. He wants to ask you a question. Not Larry Word, just a just a uh, oh, just okay. a regular okay. Larry. Hi, Larry. Hey, all right. Say hi hey, to Kevin Matthews. Kevin. Hi, Larry. Hey, uh, I got a question. Why don't you uh, fly for the uh, the new gig at uh, the Loop now? Because it's a God station, and you're you've got the you've got your yeah. own rosary you, uh, mm-hmm. app, and you, the, Jim, your, your uh, book. Yeah, I do. I I could, Jim. I, I'm hey, trying hey, to do a gambling hey. show for Christians. <laughs> it's a weekend barter show. show. What? Hey, when uh, he used to do the thing with the uh, check the refrigerator at your work, you know, and taste somebody's food and put it back. Yep. Yeah. I, I, what was that? I forget what that was called, but that was one of the funniest bits, man. I was not aware that he was doing that. I was yeah. doing it at my work. Yeah. Yeah, I would have people uh, sneak in into an uh, employee's uh, refrigerator and they'd taste test. Oh, at their work, not at yeah. our work. Yeah, and lick sandwiches and put them <laughs> yeah. back. It was... Yeah, it was. I think it was called. We called it lunch raiders or something. Yeah, like that. I used to drink a lot then. Uh-huh. Yeah, it makes three of us, I think. Mm-hmm. All right, All right but, man. Good to hear you. All right, thanks, Larry. Bye. All right, Kev. Well, uh, I don't know about Jim's idea for the gambling for Christians show, but uh, they, they you, do it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, and, and now, Steve, yeah. when you go off the air, is, mm-hmm. are they flipping the station? No, at no, that it's going to stay on till midnight on Saturday. Oh, okay. if I could, I would love the last song to be "Freebird." Okay. I, I mean, think uh, I I think um, they're thinking about Highway to Hell. Well, but <laughs> but I'll put that I'll put that in the hopper. Okay, all right. Freebird. But, but uh, if I can, uh, the, the bottom line I think the the, the it's so it became so historic was because of the audience. Uh huh. Absolutely. And and, and I, that's what I want to thank is all the people that just listened and we grew up together and it, it wouldn't have worked in any other city but Chicago because Chicago's the best. Absolutely. It was uh, best radio experience of my life, and I've been doing it since I was 16. Mine too, bud. All right, man. Take care. Jim? Got- yeah, it's Steve. Keep a, be cool up there. Oh, I will. And right. hey, people, come on up to Beaver Island, okay? You <laughs> can got win a casino Beaver up there. Island. Yep. <laughs> All right, Jim. Thanks, Kev. <laughs> Bye-bye, you guys. All right, buddy. You're listening to the last live show on the loop ever. This is the Steve Dahl Show. Heard weekday afternoons on WLS AM 890. The simulcast is sponsored by David Hochberg of Pearl Mortgage. Visit PERLmortgage.com.
Kentucky Fried Chicken. Hi, you're in the air. Steve Dollar coming with you. The Rude Awakening. Rock and roll, my man. Uh, on our WLS AM show every day at uh, two thirty-seven or so, we're running a little late today. Feel free if you guys want to cut down on on the information sure. in there. Bulge is out of town. Yeah, we can. Yeah. Yeah. Bulge is out of town. He can't stop. He can't stop us now. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Let's work. I don't know if I can do that's, that. Man. That's Jennifer Kuiper. She does news on the AM. So uh, we're on the, the Loop uh, FM and uh, WLS today. And so every day on WLS at uh, 2.37 or so, we we play something from the 40 years that I've, I've been on the air in Chicago. And today I've selected something that I believe all Loop fans from back in the day yep. will uh, remember uh, quite... Well, you might not remember the entire conversation, but you will... I'm sure you remember one line from it. I'll call Gary's date here. Her name is uh, Val Schmidt. When you, get, when you get drunk, just think what you can do with her last name. Val. Hello? Hi, is Val there? No, she's not. Is she gone to school already? Yeah. Oh, this is Steve Dahl from The Loop. Yeah. How are you? Fine. Pretty good. We're on the air right now, so don't say anything dirty, okay? Is this her the dad? seems to say things dirty. Pardon? I say you're the guy that seems to say, say things dirty. Yeah, but I know how to do it so we don't get in trouble. Well, I don't know about that. Oh, great. I Listen, I don't know anything about you. I don't listen to your program until this morning, but <laughs> I understand about this contest. Uh, kids do things sometimes, you know, get into things, and... I wouldn't let my daughter go with you or your sidekick. <laughs> all the tea in China, buddy. After listening to your program this morning. How much tea do they have in China? You're very base. You're very base. And you're not good for kids. That's beautiful. Any parent that let their daughters go anywhere with you, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. You know, you're, when you're on the air, you have a privileged right. position there. And right. I don't think that the uh, freedom to speech is secured by the uh, Constitution allows you to say anything you want. Oh, I thought it did. <laughs> no, I don't think so. You have, to use, you have to exercise some judgment in your position, and you don't exercise any judgment. So I hope that answers your question. Okay? Got anything else to I, say? I didn't ask you a question yet. I was going to ask you if you thought, uh, well, it, was, I know what the question thought was. it was neat that we were going out with your daughter, but I guess that does answer my question. Right. So you think it's good, huh? What's good? I mean, the, the, we're going to go out and, you know, have some fun, and uh, yeah. obviously you and your daughter are looking forward to it. Yeah, that's right. But I don't think that's your purpose. I think maybe it's just a PR for yourself. If your purpose was to do something for the kids, that would be something different. But I, I don't think it is. No, I wouldn't do that. No, you wouldn't do that. No, I don't think you no, would. No, no. Have a nice day. Okay, fine. Thank you. Mr. Schmidt? <laughs> oh, I was going to tell him I loved him. <laughs> well, we'll think just have his to daughter's going to grow up and be a heroin addict We'll just have to call earlier tomorrow. I guess we missed her. How come she ran away? <laughs> don't know. You seem like a pretty normal guy. This is just like it, <laughs> being 17 again. <laughs> What's the difference? Okay, so I might kill myself. <laughs> She's going to end up going to the prom with a guy in a jacked-up Nova. <laughs> That's kind of... Who's got some angel dust. <laughs> <laughs> and will have sex with her in the back of his car. <laughs> You sure you want to go to the prom? <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> no, I just decided we're not going. <laughs> <laughs> so you can't even be 25 or 30 and, and handle it any better than when you were 16 or 17. Oh. to the last live show on the loop ever. This is the Steve Dahl Show. Heard weekday afternoons on WLS AM 890. The simulcast is sponsored by David Hochberg of Pearl Mortgage. Visit perlmortgage.com. 
Hello, everybody. How are you? Thank you for tuning in today. We appreciate it. It's the Steve Dahl Show. We are on the Loop 97.9 FM uh, for the final live show on the Loop after yeah. 40 years of rocking Chicago. And also, uh, we're simulcasting. Uh, we're normally on WLS AM 890, Monday through Friday, 2 to 6. And joining us now... What? The, the, <laughs> the great, the legendary, the great, the wonderful Joseph Walsh. Joe Walsh joining us from the Eagles. Hey, Joe. Hi, man. How are you, buddy? I'm a, I'm sad. Yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. It's a sad day. Yeah. Now, Joe uh, had logged many uh, hours on, on the loop. I uh, used to fill in for, for Gary and myself when we went on vacation. All right. Yeah, you yeah. went to Hawaii. Yeah, some legendary uh, weeks. Uh, uh, Joe, Rick the bass player, lots Rick, of great yeah. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, shout out to Rick up there. And, yeah, we trashed your show pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, you <laughs> you did. had a big mess every time you came back. You had a, a big mess, a lot of wreckage to fix. Yeah, it's all right. Everybody loved it. And, yeah. uh, you know, and uh, I mean, you, who could ask for a better f fill in when you're on vacation, right? Oh, yeah. Well, uh, I don't know who. I don't know. You know. You, you, yeah. you're, uh, well, I want to thank you because. Golly, I got I got into the whole community there and all the other guys and, and and had a great time and got to be on the radio and I just wanted to thank you. Oh, thank you, man. Thanks for believing in me, man. <laughs> yeah. Somebody had to. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, no, we uh yeah, we love you here in Chicago, you know that. And very excited that you'll be here Wednesday night at United Center. Yeah. Coming over there to see that. Well, you don't have to come. I know you go to bed at eight thirty. No, no, I'm, 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 I'm coming. To, I'm coming. I'm coming to United Center on Wednesday. Okay, on you Wednesday. got a deal. And uh, I just wanted to, you know, uh, give you a chance. Just to, I know, you know, Joe is a. A lot of people might not know this. He's a ham radio operator. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he can actually build radios. Yeah. I've seen him do it with a soldering iron and whatnot, and wow. he can build a radio and a, a transmitter and a. And a, yeah. a tower and everything. So, uh, uh, he you know, he loves radio. Yeah, you know? I do. I love radio so much. Uh, when I was little, I lived in Evanston when I was about five. Uh huh. And I used to listen to Don McNeil's Breakfast Club. Right, right. Do you remember that? I, uh, I. Never, you weren't born then, I guess. I, I, I know what it is, for sure. Mm -hmm. I don't yeah. think I ever heard it. But Yeah, I love radio like that much. WLS has been around forever. Yeah. Well, and I've been listening, I've been enjoying uh, for a while, and maybe still, uh, on Sirius, there's like an Eagles channel, you know, coinciding with the tour. And, yeah. And uh, you've been doing some good stuff on there. Yeah. You're a natural. Well. And he plays guitar. Oh, my yeah, I do. Does he? And he plays guitar. Yeah. Yeah, well, I just wanted to, to give you a chance to, to be on one time and say, uh, you know, so long to everybody at 97.9. And, and thank you for yeah. all of the help over the years, all of the things that you've done for us. Oh, sure. I'm happy to. And goodbye, WLS. Uh, we'll miss you. The loop. No, LS is staying. Unless you know we something I so. don't know. Because <laughs> I still need the, I still, I'm on a, I don't want to be on a fixed income yet. Right. Yeah, yeah. The, the loop. 97.9 is gone. 97.9. Yeah. But they will stream on, Joe. Yeah. They will stream on at... Uh, Sorry, I had a brain no, part there. It's, it's totally cool, man. Yeah. Uh, it just scared me because, uh, you know, I thought, you know, you might know something. Right. Yeah. yeah. No, 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 no. He's a radio we've insider. Already lost, we've already lost one station this week. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but they'll, keep, that, <laughs> they'll, be, they'll still keep streaming at WLUP.com, so. Yeah. Well, I got a bunch of stuff to talk to you about, but we'll do that. You know, I'll, I'll, we'll do that next week. Okay. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. I'm, I'm coming Wednesday. I'm bringing, I'm, uh, I'm bringing uh, my, my boy Pat and uh, a couple yeah. other folks, and uh, looking forward to it, man. Okay. How does it, how's it sounding? I mean, I know really you haven't, good, you haven't started really, yet. really, really, really good. Yeah, you're still just re rehearsing, right, because the first gig is the 12th? Yeah. yeah. Well, we finished all that. Yeah. At some point, you just got to go play. You know, I don't know why we're rehearsing. I know all the damn songs. <laughs> Jesus. But, uh, you know, you got, there's lights and sound. Right. And you Henley got... hates it when he's singing lead in the dark and the lights on me. Yeah. And I'm just standing there. 
<laughs> yeah, and then plus yeah. you have Vince Gill. You got you got to break him in, and, uh, yeah. and and Glenn's son too, right? So, yeah, Deacon. Deacon. So uh, that's all working out well. It is. It's great on stage. I know that. No, well, that's uh, that's all that matters, right? We'll see what you think. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it's great out front, too. I'm sure you tell me. Uh, yeah, well. You know, you said, hey, Joe, that, that stunk. I don't, that I've was never... awful. You told me that a couple times, so I, I can trust you for yeah. a real answer. Uh, yeah, but I, yeah. you haven't stunk in a long time, man. No. <laughs> so... Oh, but when I do, uh, you're yeah. the first to let me know. <laughs> well, then, you know, feel free to let me know. Okay. It would, it, you know, but that would be a daily occurrence probably for me. Yeah. My daily call from Joe telling me that I stink. Just yeah. kidding. Just kidding, man. I love you. You know I love you. Love you, too. So long, Loop. Yeah, so 97.9. We'll miss you. Yeah. All right. Joe Walsh, Eagles coming to town on Wednesday. I don't I think. I don't know if that's sold out or not, but I'm sure you can get tickets somewhere. Can and, I stay at your house? Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> Okay, I might not leave right away. That's cool. You can stay as okay. long as you, you can base yourself out of there for the entire tour if you want. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We got, See how easy that was? Yeah, yeah. We got, we've got room for, uh, you know, yeah, plenty of room. Because all the, you know, we're empty nesters now, so. Right. Yeah, it'd be fun. We can we'll just shuffle down to, to get breakfast in our bathrobes. Yeah. Our, our gaping shorty bathrobes. Yeah, about yeah. four in the afternoon. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, about four in the afternoon. Yeah, yeah. All right, man. Well, have a All sa- right, man. Sa- love you. I'll see lo- you next week. Love you, too. Safe travels, Joe. Bye, everybody. Hey, Joe. Joe Walsh. A good dude. It's a bomber. He is. I'll tell you that right now. So uh, f- a couple of things quickly here before we uh, go to the next break. Thanks to David Hochberg for sponsoring this today. He's sponsoring the simulcast. You know David Hochberg, Pearl Mortgage. Mm-hmm. Team Hochberg, 312-751-1333, or PearlDavid.com, P-E-R-L-David.com is his website. And you know what he does? Yeah, he's, he's the He acts on your behalf. He, he deals with the bank so you don't have to. Oh, yeah. he's a real bulldog. Man, bankers, man. The suits. Mm-hmm. The suits bum us out. Hawk ain't afraid of that stuff. He ain't afraid of the suits. He's even got his own suit. Oh, yeah. He uh-huh. wears as a disguise <laughs> he blends when he right goes in. into the bank. Uh-huh. So give him a call if you're looking to refinance, get a mortgage, get a VA HELOC, loans, yeah. get a HELOC, yep. uh, credit consolidation. David Hochberg, 312-751-1333. And the loop will, uh, we'll go, we're gonna, we go off at 6. That's the plan anyway. Mm-hmm. And the loop will uh, go back to, uh, to classic rocking until midnight on Saturday, and that's when they change over. But they will continue to stream at WLUP.com and also on 101.1 HD2. Yes, so if you don't have an HD radio, don't look for it because you, you, you'll blow your own mind trying to figure it out. Right. But if you have an HD radio, you'll be, still be able to listen in your car. And, uh, and uh, I would also recommend if you listen to us on AM you might, and you have an HD radio it, you're not, and you're not using it, you should because mm-hmm. it sounds a lot, a lot better than AM. And we're on 94.7 HD2. Yep. And we have beautiful voices that should be heard in full stereo. That's what I like to think. Yeah. And did you know that they are selling, uh, it's like, uh, w- w- this is the last time ever, mm-hmm. they're mm-hmm. selling the classic Black Loop shirt right now? Yeah. Yep. Well, I mean, we are. I mean, I'm not. I'm not I, I don't think I get any of the proceeds for that. They're going like hotcakes. You're selling, you're selling them. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm making a killing. <laughs> right. You whipped up a bunch of uh-huh. bootleg shirts. Yeah. You're selling them out of the trunk, Brendan. Uh-huh. Very good, uh, very if you savvy. text, here's what you got to do. It's uh, they're twenty bucks. While if you're listening last. right now, if yeah. you're listening right now, mm-hmm. twenty bucks, and you need to text the word shirt and be careful. You know, put the R Don't in there. Skip any letters. People. Put the R in there. Don't freak somebody out somewhere. Yep. Text shirt to three one two nine seven nine. Ah. Chicago three one two nine seven nine. The loop. I like nice. that. Nice. Somebody. Somebody planned ahead. Mm-hmm. All right. That number again, the word shirt to 312-979 is 20 bucks. And, uh, you know, I know a lot of people still have their original loop shirts, but mm-hmm. it doesn't hurt to have a, a spare. Right. And one that might actually fit. You're listening to the last live show on The Loop.
ever. It was fun while it lasted. This is the Steve Dahl Show. Heard weekday afternoons on WLS AM 890. Sponsored by David Hochberg of Pearl Mortgage. Visit PERLDavid.com.